today we're at the Bear Paw Lodge in Williston, North Dakota, a Target Logistics Man Camp. This unit houses uh, 496 males, females. This unit was built in 87 days um, from cutting the ground to actual opening this facility. Um, so we'll go in here and show you all the amenities that we have to offer and uh, give you a kind of a good inside tour. This is called the mudroom. And what this is designed for is to allow the guys to come in, get out of their gear, you know, their overalls, their boots. We have booties, um, so if they do, it's their only boots that they wear in and out, you know, to the room. Just to put those on, just so they don't track that mud and dirt into the room. Um, we want to keep it nice and clean. In this facility, we have 496 rooms. Um, we offer, you know, quite a few amenities. Um, we're coming up on the convenience store. Cigarettes, energy drinks, you know, if they need a little bag of toothpaste or, you know, flu medicine, stuff like that. Little basic amenities that you would get at a gas station. Some of them that come in, they get picked up at the airport by their company, get dropped here, and then they get transported to and from their work site. So they really don't have that option as far as going out. Um, one through nine hallways are what are called a VIP room. They have their own individual shower. Um, it's a queen bed. Um, they have a microwave and a refrigerator as well. They also have a flat screen TV and a DVD player. Um, in the convenience store, we do rent movies as well. Over to my direct left, you'll see pool tables, TVs and stuff like that just for their entertainment. There was a, a real shortage of housing um, for oil workers and you know site workers. Um, a lot of them were coming out and having problems with their not being able to recruit to help find the actual job market. Um, uh, they had a real struggle as far as you know, where are we going to put our employees, where are we going to, you know, so that's how the man camps came about. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, we'll show you the actual salad bars, fruit bars, um, desserts, goodies, stuff like that. Um, there's water, they're allowed to basically take, you know, eat one meal on site, take one meal in the field, um, you know, per breakfast, lunch and dinner. So in a sense they get six meals a day. In this actual facility, we're serving roughly 200 meals a for dinner. Um, breakfast is 150 to 200, and lunch is usually 100 tops. Um, you know, because most of them actually go out on the site and stay on the site. The image of the wild, wild west um, is truthfully not there. I mean, occasionally we'll get guests that'll be, a, you know, verbally abusive to maybe another guest or something like that. We have zero tolerance for that. Um, we'll get a hold of their housing coordinator and depending on the severity of the actual incident, they're gone. Um, you know, we try to create that safe and secure environment for our employees and our guests. Mm -hmm.